Hey guys, it's Adam here, your Northern Tech, and today we're going to do a video on how to put a border around your video. Probably asking yourself, what the heck are you talking about? Well, stay tuned, you're going to find out. Okay, so basically this question came to me tonight in a live chat from T-Man's Go-Karts. Uh, he basically, he records in 4x3 aspect ratio, and he wants to put a border around his video. So, just basically to make it look more professional and such, to have a back and next button, all the, those features, on the video itself. Now, basically to do this, it's pretty simple in Sony Vegas, and that's the program he uses. What you need to do first is go up to File, New. Make sure you set it to a template that you normally use. He said he uses the HD 720p 30 frames per second, so we'll choose that. The rest of this crap, don't worry about it. And go ahead and click OK. And you'll get yourself your new setup. Now you need to bring your media in. Well, I have a video here that's 4x3 aspect ratio that I filmed with my iPhone. So we'll bring that into the mix. So there's the video. We'll go ahead and normalize the audio. You don't need to do this, but I like to do it because otherwise the audio sounds like crap. Now you see here, there's these black bars on the side, nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. What he's trying to do is he wants to put a border on the top and a border on the bottom. Now, the network I'm part of, TGN, they've actually built this, this background of, of like a set. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into the timeline above the movie, and you're gonna see something right now. See what it did there? Put the background, and there's the video. Then you can just stretch this out to the length of video, and now you have your background in. Now if you notice here, it shows the top and the bottom, and then it has this like pixelated area. The reason for that is, is this is a PNG file with a transparent background. If you want to build a transparent background with a PNG file, you need a program like Photoshop, or you can probably use that uh, GIMP, which is free, to do the same effect. Now, if you wanted to fill in the borders here, this is what I recommend you do. Basically load a video clip into your Sony Vegas. Go up here to the little floppy disk, which is save snapshot to file. So you click that, it asks you where you want to save it. I always save it to my Bandicam folder. So we go ahead and click save, done, there it is. Okay, now from here, basically go to your bandy cam or wherever you saved your your picture to actually let's do this again well, we'll do it again we'll save it in the same directory so we can click save and we'll save it now you can go ahead and take image 3 and drag it into your copy of Photoshop or whatever you're using and you'll be able to get an idea as to what your borders are now for some reason it saved it in real low real low setting here 320 by 180 and I think the reason for that is Let's cancel out of here. I got this on preview quarter. Set it on best, full. Then hit the save button. Then hit the save button. Then go in here. Then grab the new image. And now it should be the full image size, which is 720p. Perfect. Now you can see your borders here are black. If you want to do something with that, you can just use the wand tool here. Pick it. Um, pick it. Okay. We're going to have to do some modifications here because I picked a stupid scene to do this with. And just remove that crap out of there. And to do the same with the other side, you click the shift key. Of course, it's grabbing more. Frag sakes. Of course, I'm making things more complex than they need to be, but you know what? Frag it. So now we've got the two side borders, right? Well, you can do something like a little bit of a gradient fill or, you know, whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Just get her done, you know? Oh, that doesn't look good. You know, something like that. Maybe add a filter to it, a little texture, a little mosaic tile or something, I don't know. Sure, we'll texturize it like that, so now it looks like this. You know, whatever. And then what you need to do in here is you click, holy crap, there we go. Don't want to delete that couch thing. Now you're probably saying, Adam, it's all white. Well. Give me a second. So what we're going to do now is file. Actually, you know what else you can do? This is kind of greasy. If you don't want to deal with a PG, uh, PNG file, take a bright green, take your paint bucket, and fill it. And then go to file, save, sure. We'll minimize that. There's our new backdrop. So we'll delete this old one here. 
and we'll drag in the new one. Now you're saying Adam, what the frig? The video is gone, it's all green. Go over here to event effects. Scroll through all your event effects until you find the one Sony Chroma Keyer. Select it and bring this back over. Choose the teardropper, choose the green, and look at that. Might have to adjust your threshold a little bit. And when you're done, you end up with a final product that looks like this. Alrighty, well, here's just a quick video for a test template type thing for the uh, how to border your videos uh, tutorial, I guess you want to call it. Basically, uh, T Man from T Man's Go Karts asked me uh, a question tonight on his live chat. So I figured I'd go out of my way and show him how I think he, this is what he wants done. So, without further ado, there's the effect. You see it around me, all the borders and things. And you know, we got some stuff up here and some stuff up here. And none of it works right now because I didn't really do anything with it. But, you know, with the power of annotations, you can get the job done right on. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial and hopefully T-Man that helps you out. If you do want to add the buttons, you can basically just on your paint shop add them in here at the top whatever you want to do or you can just use sony vegas and put back next and all that so hopefully this tutorial helps you out and hopefully this is what you're looking for bud anyway guys until next time take care